That's right, Rob. Joseph Chuba is being held right here at Joliet's adult detention facility. The charges against him came down right before 2 o'clock this afternoon. Shortly after that, the little boy's father came forward along with a group of supporters from Chicago's Muslim American community, not just to express their grief, but also to speak out against what appears to have been an act of hatred against this Palestinian family. This is one of the last pictures taken of Wadia Al Fayumi, who just a couple of weeks ago celebrated his sixth birthday. His life was brutally taken away yesterday morning at his home in unincorporated Plainfield after he was stabbed 26 times with a military style knife. Will County investigators saying today he and his mother were attacked by their landlord, Joseph Chuba. The 71 year old is now charged with first degree murder, attempted first degree murder, and two counts of committing a hate crime. What we have is a murdered Palestinian child by someone who is radicalized by the environment in which we live right now that casts Palestinians as human animals. In announcing the charges today, the Will County Sheriff's Office called the crime senseless and cowardly, saying in part, detectives were able to determine that both victims in this brutal attack were targeted by the suspect due to them being Muslim and the ongoing Middle Eastern conflict involving Hamas and the Israelis. And while investigators did not reveal their reasons for believing that, the president of the Council on American Islamic Relations today, standing alongside the little boy's father, described text messages sent to the father by his ex-wife from the hospital where she is still recovering from her own injuries. He knocked on the door and that he attempted to choke her and said you Muslims must die and attempted to stab her and stabbed her and she went to the to the bathroom and called 911 and this was, this was all in her own words. Now, just a short while ago, the Anti-Defamation League released a statement condemning this violent attack. As for the investigation itself, detectives with the Will County Sheriff's Office say that Joseph Chuba did not provide a statement, but they do believe they have enough physical evidence along with witness testimony to back up their uh, their charges against him. And, against, and again, Chuba will remain here at the detention center at least until his first court appearance. Watch breaking news on YouTube. Subscribe to ABC7 Chicago Eyewitness News.